Today we'll be going over the sci-fi horror, The Unhealer. The movie opens on an old camping trailer driving through the woods at night. A man, Fluger, emerges wearing a headlamp and carrying a shovel. He steals a human bone from an ancient Navajo grave and a bolt of magic shoots out of it, throwing him into the side of his vehicle. After robbing the grave and getting zapped by magic, he drives away with an evil laugh. The next scene introduces Kelly, being bullied outside a store by some of the jocks from his high school. The jocks bully him because he has an eating disorder called pica, which makes him want to eat things that are not food. His friend Dominique sticks up for him, but jocks put Kelly upside down in a trash can. One of them pours soda on him. The jocks record it on their phones. The next day, Kelly isn't looking very well, and he realizes, as he snacks on a pencil eraser from his locker, which has the word Trash Boy written on it in big white letters, that the video of the jocks putting him in the trash can has spread around the school. All of the students are laughing at him. Kelly gets sick because of his diet of ramen noodle lids and erasers. Kelly's mom calls a doctor to check in on him, but the doctor tells his mom that there's nothing he can do for him because Kelly needs psychological help, not just medical help. In the next scene, a crowd of people gather around Fluger. It turns out he's a faith healer, and despite his snake oil shtick, his magic works and he can heal people. But unfortunately, he uses his power for gain, healing crowds of people for money. Fluger calls an old woman to the front of the crowd to demonstrate. The woman has to use a walker because of the pain in her back and her legs. He heals her and she tosses her walker aside, proclaiming it's a miracle. The whole crowd cheers. After the crowd leaves, a a Navajo man named Red Elk confronts Fluger. Red Elk explains that he knows that Fluger stole his powers from an ancient grave. He tells Fluger that in time, the magic will turn on him somehow and he will die because of it. A man named Fluger very rudely refuses to heed Red Elk's warning and sets off to heal Kelly. Later that day, Fluger visits Kelly's home and attempts to heal him, but dies in the process and passes his powers on to Kelly. After realizing his new powers, Kelly is much more confident in the next scene. He stands up to one of his bullies later that day. The bully tries hitting him, but only hurts himself in doing so. In frustration, the bully tries striking Kelly over the side of the head with a piece of lumber and gives himself a concussion. On his way home, Kelly gets a job at a pizza place in town and starts thinking of ways to monetize his powers to support himself and his mother. His mom points out that if he picks a profession that shows off his powers, things might not end so well for them, so the idea is shelved and never mentioned again. Kelly discovers that if he eats something that belongs to someone, they will be affected by whatever he does to himself. While sitting behind Dominique in class, her scrunchie falls off her hair onto Kelly's desk. He picks it up and eats the tag before deciding to give it back to her. He starts fantasizing about having sex with her, and she becomes aroused. He then fantasizes about Sarah, and Sarah becomes aroused. He has an orgasm in class. Both girls also have orgasms. He falls out of his chair and runs out of style, covering his pants. In the next scene, Kelly and Dominique are at a bonfire party when Kelly is confronted by his bullies again. Kelly stands up to the jocks and even mocks one of them. However, things are about to escalate quickly when Gus, the team football coach and father of two bullies, arrives and tells them to knock it off. The bullies see Kelly on the road back from the party and chase him down in their car and run him over. Brett alone is affected by the magic because he was the one driving. The other bullies run away and Dominique and Sarah catch up to Kelly a few minutes later. Kelly explains to Dominique what happened and she accepts his explanation. When they return to school, Kelly and Dominique eat rice cakes together and discuss the accident. Dominique says that the police think it was a malfunctioning airbag that caused the crash. Kelly and Dominique begin to lay the groundwork for a romantic relationship when Dominique coaxes Kelly into asking her out. In the following scene when Kelly is taking out the trash at his job at Grazie's Pizza Place, he is confronted about his powers by Red Elk. Kelly confirms his suspicions by telling Red Elk his origin story and running back to work. Later, the bullies wait for Kelly to leave his trailer, and when they think it's empty, they prank him by pulling his trailer off its foundation. It destabilizes when the trailer falls and the stove is ripped from the wall, filling the trailer with gas. Kelly's mom, who was napping on the couch when he left, is trapped inside. In her panic to get out, she knocks over a lamp, causing it to spark and ignite the gas. The trailer explodes. Kelly comes back in time to try to rescue 
rescue his mom from the wreckage, but she's already dead by then. He carries her burned body outside and falls to his knees in agony. Later, he lies in a hospital bed staring at the ceiling in shock. He's unscathed, but because he has no next of kin, he will have to go into foster care. Red Elk shows up at the hospital to tell the sheriff that Kelly has stolen magic powers. The sheriff doesn't believe him, but Red Elk tells him that he should look for him when he's ready to believe him. Later, at his mother's funeral, he sneaks away from the crowd to be alone and finds his way to Pfluger's grave. Dominique comes to see him. He tells her that he'll miss her but has to go into foster care. The two finally kiss and then part ways. Afterward, he eats a leaf from a weird plant growing on his grave and becomes violently ill. The sheriff tells him some information about his mother's death that points to foul play on the way to foster care. Kelly surmises from the details that the jocks who bully him must have done it. His suspicions are confirmed when the jocks drive past him. They flip him off and hurl insults at him. Kelly leaps out of the car and vanishes. The sheriff goes off looking for him. Kelly figures out that the jocks are going to the creek, and he follows them there for revenge. He sees them swimming and drinking beer, and he seizes the opportunity. First, he kills one of them by eating some of the jock's clothing so that the magic will affect him from a distance. Then, Kelly starts choking himself with the rest of the shirt wrapped around his neck, causing the bully to drown. Kelly emerges from his hiding place to gloat, but has to make a quick getaway because one of the bullies has gone to get the sheriff. Dominique is looking out of her window in the next scene when her mom warns her to keep it closed because she doesn't want to risk Kelly getting in. Just after saying this and leaving her daughter's room, Kelly shows up in the window, and Dominique tries to talk him out of revenge. She suggests instead trying to get the bullies to confess to what they did. But the next day in science class, when Kelly barges in and demands a confession from one of the bullies, the bully instead tries to kill Kelly for calling him out on the murder by throwing acid in his face. The jock's face melts instantly, and Kelly flees the scene. That night, Sarah, dating one of the jocks, tells him about what she saw at the funeral, with Kelly eating those weeds and getting sick. Together, they surmise that the weeds are Kelly's kryptonite and harvest some to use against him later. Later, Kelly confronts two of the jocks and their father, Gus, on the football field after stealing and eating some clothes from the back of the sheriff's car. He uses a power drill on himself to take out the jock's knees when he tries to spray him with a tank full of green liquid made of the grave weeds from before. He stops attacking because Dominique asks him to, and when he does, Gus, the jock's father, tackles the sheriff and steals his gun. The jock manages to spray Kelly and weaken him, after which he tells his dad to take the shot while Kelly is weak. Dominique blots enough of the liquid off of Kelly to dampen its effect, and the confrontation ends with Gus shooting Kelly in the head. Shooting Kelly backfires and kills Gus, but it also kills the jock, because Kelly still has a piece of his clothing in his stomach. Dominique blames him for everyone's death and threatens to break up with Kelly if he doesn't agree to go with Red Elk and complete a ritual that will separate him from the power. But the ceremony is botched. The power has been with Kelly for too long and has become a part of him. The only way to separate him from the power now is to kill him. Kelly and Dominique are both fatally wounded by an officer's shotgun blast. They fall into Fluger's open grave. Dominique dies instantly, but Kelly heals magically and lives. Kelly eats the heart of Fluger's corpse, renouncing the power and accepting death, and the power leaves him. His body goes through a slideshow of all the deaths he's avoided, and then he falls backwards dead with a bullet hole in his head. The movie closes with Dominique waking up in the back of an ambulance and healing instantly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more.